The Emancipation Proclamation or Proclamation 95 was a presidential proclamation and executive order issued by United States President Abraham Lincoln on September 22, 1862 during the Civil War. The proclamation went into effect on January 1, 1863 and changed the legal status under federal law of more than 3.5 million enslaved Africans to permanently free Americans. One day they were African slaves, the next day they were free Americans. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Mark's version is more specific about what the disciples needed to do and what the world needs to do. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Prior to 1863, almost all the Africans in America were deemed as slaves. After the proclamation of President Abraham Lincoln went into effect, they automatically became free American citizens, no longer under any bondage whatsoever to any man. The Bible tells us that over 2,000 years ago, only the Jews were God's people by covenant until Yehoshua, who we also call Jesus Christ, gave his disciples the Great Commission or proclamation for all men, both Jew and Gentile, that all those who believed and repented would be saved from their sins. Under the Emancipation Proclamation, the black slaves became Americans. Under the Great Commission, what did the believer become? Now remember that the gospel was for both Jew and Gentile. Did this mean that Jews were to become Christians? We all know that the Gentiles became known as Christians. This is so important and I want as many people as possible to get this. The black slaves did not become Abraham Lincolnites because Abraham Lincoln made the proclamation. He made the proclamation under the powers granted to him by the American Constitution. First, the slaves became Americans. Yehoshua walked the face of this earth as a Jew. He practiced Jewish traditions and obeyed the Mosaic law because he was a Jew. He died a Jew and rose as a son of God and made the Emancipation Proclamation as a son of God. Hence he said, all power all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. He cited his authority just the way the American president relied on the U.S. Constitution to free the slaves. Remember, the Pharisees kept on asking him under which authority did he do all he did. Now, they had their answer. He relied on his authority as the Son of God to declare that all those who repented, believed and were baptized are now Jews because the Abrahamic covenant was with the Jewish nation. The black slaves became free Americans who owed their allegiance to the US Constitution and obeyed the laws of America. We who are now Jews by heavenly decree owe our allegiance to the Constitution God gives the Jews. This is why we have been taught to obey the Ten Commandments, a law given to the Jews. This is why we practice circumcision and baptism, because Yehoshua said so. This is why we also observe the Sabbath, albeit on the wrong day. I really hope I am communicating to someone. We are called Christians because we are followers of Christ, who believe he died for the remission of our sins. But what we are is Jews, because that is what the covenant of sonship is tied to. We were adopted into the sonship of the Jews. Yehoshua didn't come to abolish the law or that covenant, no. He came to fulfill the law because the law was important. What is this law? It is a set of rules that told the Jews how they would relate with Yahweh, his earthly institution, and themselves. This law is a vehicle driven on a road paved with faith. Whose? destination is love. 
The law starts and ends with love, but it's difficult to obey because man outside of God cannot love. Traditional Bible readers know that the actual words of Yehoshua are always written in red in the Bible. Let us read his actual words on the law. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you that except that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. He then goes further to prescribe a more stringent version of the law. How do the Jewish laws and traditions, the most popular being the Ten Commandments, apply to you? We'll find out next week. God bless you all.